Hello, for this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Tone Groove router set. And one of the biggest reasons you want to learn how to use these sets is to turn a component like this into a panel like this. That will greatly expand your area of woodworking. The first router bit to set up is for the tongue. And what I like to do to set this up is to have my stock right here placed up against the bit. The speed square just above it to where it hangs off. And then I'm just going to raise the bit until it hits. Okay, so once it hits, the router bit is going to be over the stock. This is a little bit exaggerated, but it's good for the purpose. Okay, from there you just lower the router bit about an eighth of a turn until you can't push the speed square into the router bit. So everything there is nice and flush. I can push a speed square without any deviation. So what I like to do here is when you have your router locked into place, take your speed square and put it in between the gap of the two cutting bits where it's on the ball bearing and then slide the fence over and then lock it into place. Again, make sure you got enough clearance, otherwise you're going to be eating your fence. Use a piece of scrap so the board goes through squarely and there's no chip out. Okay, so for the next step, you can A, drop this down to where the top is going to mate up with the tongue, or B, put in the uh, groove portion of the router bit, which I'll do as I believe in even wire and tear. And then same as before, we're going to make sure the speed square doesn't rub the routing bit. Keep in mind that it's not overly crucial for the groove cutter to be aligned with the fence, but it is nice to have it. So minor cleanup may be required. And with a few extra bits of cutting on your plywood for some panels, it should all come together nice and smoothly form a lovely panel that you can use nearly anywhere.